My name is Saritha Gupta. I'm the Executive Director of Jobs with Justice and a proud member of the Board of Directors of the International Labor Rights Forum. And I have the best job ever, which is to do what is critical to any movement, which is to move us into action. So let me ask you, are we ready to stand with tobacco workers? You better be after that speech, right? So I want to, we're going to do a mini action now. Um, I'm going to ask you to take out your smartphones and go to the link on the screen here. Come on, I know you have smartphones. You've been looking at them all night. Pull out your smartphone. Oh, Wi-Fi. That's an issue. Do what you can if you can get a signal or write down this link. Because Flock has been involved in an eight-year struggle with Reynolds American trying to get the tobacco giant to sign on to the agreement that would help establish collective bargaining and grievance mechanisms for tobacco workers in North Carolina. We've already gotten nearly 7,000 people signed up on this petition, and we're really trying to get to 1,000 more um, before Flock delivers this petition to the Reynolds headquarter in um, Winston-Salem next week. So you can help us cross that line by signing onto this petition here tonight or as soon as you leave the building if you can't get a good signal and also sharing the link, asking your friends to sign on as well. So are we committed? Can we get to 8,000 signatures on this petition? What do you think? Yeah? All right. Because it's time for us to send a really strong message to Reynolds that people stand behind this fight. So thank you for your help with this. Um, and thank you again to Baldemar for the amazing work that you've done. Let's do another round of applause for him and this work. And don't forget to take action. If you couldn't get the signal, do it as soon as you leave and go up the escalators. We really want to gather the signatures we need. Well, with that, I'm, uh, I have the pleasure of introducing the amazing president of the Board of Directors of the International Labor Rights Forum, Cam Duncan, to help close us out this evening.